Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I love art journaling and mixed media and making videos and creating with you and I have a fun project for you today. <laughs> this is, um, the project we're calling is Passing Notes. And it's gonna be all about just getting in touch with your inner child, being a kid, having fun, being free with what you're creating. We got Keenan here, running the camera. The true inner child. <laughs> cheering us on. <laughs> okay, so I just want to take a minute to take a breath or like, you know, set an intention. I think sometimes I kind of jump into these videos because I'm real excited and, and then I get a little nervous because I'm like, well, I want to make this cool. And I think we all sit down to make something fun and maybe we carry a little bit of extra things with us. And I just want to take a minute to set an intention, decide that we are going to use this time to create, to sort of have self-care moment, you know? Yeah. So you can set an intention. I'm gonna set an intention and it's gonna be, I'm an artist. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Might be weird to take a deep breath with me, but you can do it. You can do it, believe in yourself. <laughs> and I'm gonna say I'm an artist. That really helps me because that's the thing I battle with, believing that I'm an artist. How silly is that? I have this inner critic that's a big meanie that's like, I say I'm an artist and it says, but are you really an artist? <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I mean. Uh. Well, when you phrase it like that. <laughs> so we're gonna kick that big meanie out of here with our intention. You can decide what your intention is and we'll just keep going with that. And that brings me to our theme that we're working with. And it is Momentary Wonder. Our subscription box, you get a theme to work in each month. And I'm just gonna read this because I like how it says it and I don't wanna yeah. mess it up. Okay. It says, being an adult can be tough. As we get older, more responsibilities fill our schedule and having fun seems less of a priority. Channeling your inner child, slowing down, and allowing yourself some momentary wonder can be a great way to spark new ideas. Whether you're blowing paint through a straw, journaling a fond memory, or folding a tiny note, like we're gonna do today, we hope these projects will remind you not to take life so seriously and remember what it feels like to be a carefree kid again. Nice. Ooh, a excited. carefree kid. I yeah. picture like a popsicle for some reason. Ooh, yeah. Now I want a ice cream. So. <laughs> always Thanks. always talking about the snacks. It's good. <laughs> this test feel like summer, like you should eat a popsicle outside and let it drip around, huh? <laughs> yes. What flavor popsicle would that be? It's like I pictured the rainbow kind, like mm. the rocket. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. The blue, white, red, yeah. Awesome. All right, so let's see. We got, we got, we got supplies. That's what we're going to talk about next. So we're going to do that. We did our theme card. We talked about our theme that we're working in for the next couple of projects. We're going to use this technique card, which says passing notes. That's the project we're doing. But we also get in your box our prompt cards. So let's get our prompt card out, and we'll talk about that. So each project, you got a technique that you're learning and a little prompt to get your creative ideas flowing. And this prompt is a note to your younger self. So that's what we're gonna do with our little um, cute note that we're folding here. And it talks about how, <clears throat> have you ever wondered what it would be like to beat up with your younger self? What advice would you give? Try writing a note. You can fold it like the one you would have passed to a friend in school or to your neighbor. There are several approaches you can take. You can try writing a note of encouragement to yourself, include a list of choices you made that led you to some of the things that you now enjoy, which could be really fun. That would be fun. And you might be surprised at the personal growth you achieved along the way just by writing that note. You know, like, okay, what are things that I'm really excited about now that I'd want to tell my younger self, like, you've got good things to look forward to kind of thing. Um, you could also, if you're, you're not so serious, you could also go with a lighthearted and funny approach to this note. That might be your style. And you can make a few jokes that your audience of one will sure, be sure to appreciate. Audience of one. <laughs> well, you know, if anybody else reads it and they know you, I guess they could laugh at it too. Including this note in your journal may help you connect you to a simpler way of looking at life and something you can look back and as a reminder that everything's gonna work out. So I'm just thinking of some of those funny things that oh, I, I would have, have done I as have a kid. Several, <laughs> I have several funny things. Oh. Probably shouldn't wear those overalls to the airport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe no overalls. Maybe uh, don't don't cut your own bangs. Maybe maybe that's. <laughs> Wait, maybe that's I cut thing. my own hair now. <laughs> Dang it. But you're doing a great job, Thanks. fabulous job of cutting your own hair, and so brave because I don't think I could do that. It takes a long time. 
All right, so the first step that we're gonna do is to use, oh, we gotta tell you about the supplies. See, I'm jumping the gun, I'm getting excited. All right, supplies that we're gonna use for my subscription box is this London Blue Shimmer Spray. And it is so fabulous because it does these cool things and it reacts to water, but also has this really cool shimmer to it. I mean, there's glitter on top of this, but this, this, this pigment is shimmery too. Can you see that? I can actually, it looks really cool. Oh, so cool, so this is a lot of fun. And we're gonna use the Stickles Glitter Gel. And it is cool. We'll use a little Yes Paste to do our collaging. We got this cool Distress Crayon in Picket Fence White by Tim Holtz. He makes awesome things. We are going to use our X-Acto knife, craft knife, or if you have scissors, you can totally use those to cut out this and our notes from our collage paper. And that brings me to, we'll need collage paper. Um, if you're not a subscriber, you can use whatever you got around. That's just fine. Uh, I have included how to fold a note, and I'll show you how to do that here. And we'll use the little airplane from our outline. Okay, and then we'll use an oval mop brush. I have a half inch. If you have a three quarter inch, that would also be fine. And honestly, you can get away with whatever brush you have, round eight, whatever you need. And I'm gonna use this black pen for these little lines. I'm just using this Le Pen, but you can use whatever you got. Pencil, palette knife for using our glue and whatnot, and we're good to go. Those are the supplies. The steps are going to be one, we're gonna do our background, and we're gonna have fun sort of making um, blooms and textures, and then we're gonna fold our note and decorate that, and then we'll add our embellishments, the plane and the glitter and the lines, and that's it. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So we'll set that aside. We'll get our new journal out here. I'm just gonna fold this back so it'll lay a little flatter. And I would advise if you have the box that your subscription box came in to use that or another box you got around because this spray kinda kinda gets a little crazy. So that's what we're gonna do first. Let's see. I'm gonna move my collage paper out of the way because I don't want to get that spray on it. And I would say that's probably a good, good plan for you too. It's just anything that you maybe not want to get paint on, now's the time to move your phone or maybe not work near your computer. I get a paint at a separate desk now than my computer because I kept getting paint on it. <laughs> Weird, right? <laughs> I wonder why. I don't know, it's crazy. Okay. So this spray, I'm going to spray it on the paint on the butcher butcher tray so you can see what it does. And you may want to do that too before you go directly to your journal. I mean, it's going to be fun either way, but so. It's going to be super fun. That's, oh. you get this really nice mist. And then I'm going to get my brush wet and I can show you. Isn't that just beautiful color? That is a great color. London blue. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna spray a little cluster of color here and here and maybe a little there. And I'm actually gonna take my clips off so I don't mask the shape of my clip. Does that make sense? Oh, that's a good idea, good call. I <sighs> almost forgot. Okay, so let's go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it back about, what is that, like six, seven inches? Sure. Right. Oh yeah, that's a good spot. And then maybe just further back right here, just a little bit there, because I want to be able to water that down. And I'm going to do, I'm going to move my book so I can have not be spraying on here. You know what I mean? Like move on it sure. in your box where you need to. Oh yeah, that's good. Maybe we just do a little more in that corner. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to move my box out of the way. We might bring that back. I'm just gonna put a piece of paper under this while we're working. Bring this down here. Maybe two pieces of paper, just to protect our mat that we have for filming. All right. How's that looking as far as side cam? And Looks whatnot? great. Okay. Side cam mainly is on the right page. Okay, so let's get our oval mop brush out. Well, We'll use the half inch one, get it wet. Now, I don't know if you can see my palette. You can see my palette, right? You can see 
a quarter of it. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get this wet and disperse this pigment around. It's the same color paint, right? Yeah, this is. I'm just. I love how much difference there is in just adding a little bit of water. Yeah, isn't that so cool? So then we can go back and add clean water in some spots and see some blooms too. I don't so. know why that shocked me, but it's also very satisfying. So. <laughs> it's just, man, this, I don't know how they make this pigment so uh, brilliant. Uh, what's another word for that? Vibrant. Yeah, vibrant. I mean, this is good stuff. And you can see as this part dries, it's like shimmer, like um, like, you know, a boat, you know how it has that shimmer in the paint? Yes. You know what I'm saying? I think it's called pearlescent. Yeah. The boat example is the only thing I could think of right away, but. And I could be wrong, but yeah, I, I know what you're meaning. So you can leave some negative space in there too. You don't have to fill your whole page to kind of give it some texture. That's just fine. I'm going to kind of do that. I think that's fun. And I'm going to get some more clean water. I'm gonna drop some of that in, see if I can get it moving. So if you've done blooms in watercolor along with Sarah Cray, then you know that sometimes you drop it in and it's like magic, and other times it's like, oh, well, I guess I guess that's that. But you wanna work relatively quickly. Although this paint, reactivates every time you get it wet. Oh. So there's that. <laughs> That's kind of cool though. And then kind of like how we can keep those kind of <clears throat> splattery <throat> effects there. Or if you're not liking that, you can kind of just massage those out, so to speak. And the more water you use, the longer it's going to take to dry, but I just kind of like getting these textures, so I'm all right with that. Matter of fact, I'm just going to, if you get like a little puddle like I got going on, then you might want to just give it a little dab, because that's, we're not working with watercolor paper here. We do have a thicker paper in our art journal, so we'll do some cool stuff, but it won't absorb it a lot, so feel free to do a little bit of that if you need to also adds some pretty cool texture. Yes. Thanks, Keenan, for noticing that. See, and I kind of want this to go off the page in some spots. I'm going to do that. You can see how you just, that paint just gets reactivated every time. Oh, and it's so shimmery right there. Oh, this is so fun. Shiny. <laughs> yeah. See, we got that bloom right there. That was cool. I didn't. It didn't happen right away, but it, then it kind of happened over like a minute. So let's, whoa. Yep. See, it's starting to separate that pigment a little bit. Ooh. Just get so excited. <laughs> All right. I think I'm liking that. I think I'm liking that. That gives us a little darker spot. Maybe I need a little bit. I'm just gonna get that paint for my, I just got the paint for my box wet to get some more pigment on my brush. Oh, nice. <laughs> Why not? All right, sorry, that was probably awkward, like focusing the camera, but I just want it to be a little darker in this area. And you could also just spray more on your palette if you wanna do that too. Yeah, I'm liking that. Just wanted a little darker. What do you think? Got, are, we, are we there yet? We need any more, maybe a little darker right here. And... I'm liking it. Maybe just a little water right there to see if we can get a bloom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Blooms are so fun. It's so fun to watch it happen. It's a little slower with this than watercolor, mm -hmm. traditional watercolor, but it's, it's gonna do it. It's going to do the work for us. Oh, yeah. It's starting to just the paint goes to the edge of the water little puddle. All right. 
So let's let this dry for a few minutes and we can do our next step. Okay, this still needs just a minute to dry, so I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna bring in my cutting mat and my collage paper. Now watch your hands, because if you get this um, paint on your hands and then you get your hands wet again, then it will transfer to stuff. And I have gotten lots of blue, London blue, on my things already. So this is the collage paper we're gonna use today, this, this one. And we're gonna need our how to fold a note and we'll also cut this out in just a minute. So I'll set those over there for now. Okay. So. Exacto. And you can do this with scissors. You can cut along this line, or you can use an exacto and a ruler. I just like using exacto, you know? You're used to it. It's what you're comfortable with. Yep. My scissors are just fine. All right. Just going to cut that. Straight line. Put this over there for later. And to get the note the right size, I've got this about five and a quarter by six and a half. So if you're not using this paper with us and you just wanna use whatever paper you have on hand, five and a fourth by six and a half inches will do it for you. Now, if you have this, we're just gonna look at these words that I have, this little blue line, we're gonna cut it right there to be about the size we need to fold our note. So I'm just gonna cut it there, you can see that? It's like one, two, three, four spaces and a half kind of thing. Cut it. And we'll save that for other things later. And now we have our note. And I recommend writing your note first and then folding it and then gluing it in and then kind of decorating it. So, note to self. That's what we're gonna do really quickly. I'm just gonna use, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna use this pen, just my le pen. Let's see, don't cut your own bangs. Don't cut your own bangs. <laughs> beautiful the way you are. <clears throat> What's other good advice that we can give our younger selves? Keenan, what do you got? <clears throat> okay, keep practicing that no-bake recipe. <laughs> keep? Because you will perfect it. Yes, I love that. Um, are you talking about those? We used to call them black cookies, like the oatmeal black uh -huh. cookies with the peanut butter and the yep. mm, so good. And if y'all don't know about that, then Keenan will have to post a recipe because I have a they're bomb. Recipe that I made when I was fourteen. I, I grew up eating them. Humidity is kind of tricky with them, right? Like it is a little tricky. You got to be able like to figure hair. out how to cook the sugar out without it being overcooked. Mm hmm. I'm gonna write. You're an artist. And it's important to create. Now you can write whatever you want. Take some time to be thoughtful about this and think about it. I'm gonna sign mine for now and get to folding our note, All right? Lovely. So the first thing you wanna do is fold this up, triangle up to the Top. So we're making this side even. Does that make sense? All yes. right. So the first angled fold needs to be even with the right side of the sheet of paper. Thank you. I did not know how to say that. I was struggling. I was like, you know, like this. That's why I did pictures. <laughs> I was like, I don't explain this. All right. So to that, then you're going to fold this part toward the bottom, and you want a straight angle there, like Kina was saying, across. So the upper flat needs to be folded down towards the bottom of the triangle. Thank you. 
you could do instructional videos with that voice <laughs> and the description that you have. Okay, so then we're going to fold this little triangle up. Like this. Then, some people do it differently, but I fold this this way. Like that. I don't know how to describe that one. The original flap portion needs to over the fold over the lower triangle that was folded previously. Okay, and then I do this. Okay, you following me? Yep. It was like that. We're doing like this, and then I like to have a little tuck in there. So. That's the tricky part. <laughs> it is tricky now that I'm trying to do it in front of people. <laughs> oh, there we go. There it is. So then once you get that kind of tuck so you have a little spot to lift, then just crease that down. And you can kind of do that. You can even use your paintbrush or whatever you got to kind of just press that nice and crisp. And there is a cute little note. Okay, so I'll put that aside. Let's see how our paint is still drained. So we can decorate our note. Let's get this out of the way for a minute. So this paper is a little thinner than our journal paper, so I wouldn't recommend painting directly on it, but we can collage some of these textures that we have. So I'm bringing that back actually. Let's use, let's see if I can reach my stuff. Let's use a little bit of this pink and maybe a little bit of this cloud here. So I'm just gonna look at this and I'm gonna say, I want this corner, my other good spot, this corner to decorate that little piece right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna hold that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm gonna do this. Let's see if it fits. And we can glue that on. Oh, Might nice. need to just trim it off a little bit more. I mean, you could get all precise with this, but I'm just having fun, all right? Oh yeah, that looks good, I like that. So that little bit, and then we could even do another little um, corner for this part, that little triangle. So like, trying to like figure out that shape, It'd be like, this, maybe like that. Let's see if that fits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, nice. So we got the little pull part to be pink in this part, and then we can do this shape out of this. So I'm thinking we'll just do I'm just going along the same size as my note, and then I'm going to figure out this sh shape. Maybe I'll even just fold it in so I'll know to cut it right there. And like that. Yeah, you could do that. Fold it up. What do you think? To get our shape. that we're gonna cut and put on there. And That's smart. I don't think I did that last time I made it. So, you know, every time you do something, learn something new. So I'm gonna cut it slightly smaller than the fold so you can see the edge is really nice. Another way you could do that is slide it under that triangled flap and then fold it up on top of the triangle. Oh. And then cut where it's folded. So many ways so to do a thing. Ways. I'm just gonna trim this up a little bit more. Yeah, so you can do it what, the way Keenan described. Whatever you like. But I'm liking that. I'm liking that. All right, so we'll get our yes paste out. My yes paste is 
like in the, like the perfect consistency. Sometimes if you use it over time, it gets a little bit drier and you can just add a little bit of water in there and close the lid and it'll reconstitute itself, which is awesome. I feel like a kid right now. <laughs> this is so fun. I just like making simple, silly, fun things sometimes. I know. It's like folding an airplane. Yeah, it's, totally. It's so fun. Did you learn how to make different types of airplanes and whatnot as a kid and experiment uh, with flying them? Yes and no. I mean, I was never good at it. I always had to have someone help me. I'm still not good at it. I have to YouTube it every single time. Really? Yeah, but it is, I mean, like I said, I'm the true inner child. So I'll YouTube how to fold an airplane when I'm just thinking about flying airplanes. So, you know. I like it. My dad uh, got a big airplane book and he had a youth group of boys that he taught how to fly airplanes. And I remember just being in the gym, watching all these guys throw in their airplanes and seeing whose would go the farthest. Yeah. It's, it's one of those memories that like sticks out, like I can just imagine all those boys throwing all the airplanes yeah. all around me and it was, it was a good time. I like trying to figure out how to make them do flips, like folding flaps on the back so that it goes up or down. Ooh. And there's something about being a kid when you're doing that, you're just experimenting, you're just having a good time, like yeah. you're not thinking about like, I don't know, the real, problems of being creative like right. that we have when we're older like is mine gonna be as good as theirs I mean you're just having fun true and I like just creating for the sake of creating I'm not trying to make a gallery piece that I'm gonna hang on my wall I'm just making a cool note put in my journal for you yeah just for me just for fun all right I'm liking how that turned out so then yeah we got this little pool it's gonna unfold really easily for us and the key to making this and having it all folded up before we put it in our journal is so we'll know exactly where to put that glue down so it's going to be held in and then unfold in our journal okay. like how this is it's going to just unfold like that it's gonna be cool all right let's see if our paper is dry from our it's, it's a little damp but it's not too bad we might be able to Paste that in, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this before. I knew how it was gonna turn out, but I still love it. Yeah. Oh, and you seeing how that shimmer is picking up? Can that pick up on the camera at all? Um, like when there's yes, a lot of pigment you, right when there. You move it around a little bit, absolutely. Yep. Oh, so cool. How do they do that? How do they do that? I don't know. Okay, well actually, we'll do our airplane next. Now there is graphite paper. You could trace this onto your own paper and we will do that in our other projects with the jar and the heart and stuff like that. But for this one, I am just gonna cut this guy out. I'm just gonna cut it out. And you could try more than one if you want different sizes. And if you wanna be able to keep making these airplane shapes you can trace it on paper and do multiple ones if you like. But I'm just going to do this. Oh, it's hanging on by thread. <laughs> if that happens, don't pull it because you might tear your paper. Just find the spot that you still need to cut in order for it to make the connection to release. There we go. All right. Just gonna cut that. Actually, I'm just gonna, whoop. Just gonna put a little black ink where that paper was showing just because I can. All right. So we got that. We can put that right about here. Little airplane. And right now we can add the glitter because that's fun. We'll know where our airplane's gonna be. We can add a little glitter here. 
or should we do the lines first? Let's just paste that down where we want it. Yeah. Sorry. Get that floating in the air. So yeah, just a teens, whoa. Bit of, yes, paste. What if this letter we're writing isn't actually a letter from our inner child telling us what we need to remember? Ooh, you could do that too. Instead of giving yourself ones? advice, like your grown up self, like yeah. hey, being wise, your yeah. younger self could be like, hey, why don't you chill out and have more fun? Why don't you wear those overalls or cut your own bangs? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because I wasn't scared of that when I did exactly. it. Don't and I afraid. only look back at those photos and say, mm, mm hmm. <laughs> but as a kid, I was like, look at me, look at me. Check these out. What kind of overalls did you wear, Keenan? Explain these overalls. I gotta know. I mean, they were. They were your typical overalls. They were uh, utilitarian, if you will. Mm. Uh, I wore Did you have any like spots to hang a hammer on these? Or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't wear pants or overalls without the carpenter style um, hammer loop for a long time. But they were, uh, you know, your typical overalls. I wore them whether I was working with some friends on a farm or whether I was working with my brothers or even traveling with my mom to. Uh, Washington State so you know I looked really great on the airport you know I overalls. like it <laughs> I like it I, overalls are comfy they're helpful yeah no they're super comfy you're working you got a spot for everything it's they've, a good got, time. they've got the button fly okay I just while you're talking I just sketched out a little heart shape like the direction the airplane's kind of flowing or whatever and my yeah. with my pencil and I'm just gonna go over that with my pen just some little dashes I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here so I'm gonna move this right in here Whoop. that dotted trail is my favorite part yeah. Just take your time. You don't have to be in a hurry on this one. Just have fun. There we go. There we go. I think we got it. Like I said, you could put more airplanes on here. You could get crazy. Just do whatever. All right. And now we get to do the glitter. This is so fun. This glitter is special too. This is not just like your regular glitter. It comes in a jar. It's like super, look at that, super thick. Oh, wow. This is called Nebula because it has this tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of glitter in there. And then it has these chunks of like bigger glitter. And then you have the stars. I'm gonna put that right there. Oh, it's, it's called Nebula. Yeah, it's like a galaxy in a jar of awesomeness. When I saw this, I was like, I gotta figure out how to get this in a subscription box. I wanna play with this, this is so fun. <laughs> so I'm just gonna just kind of move it around with my, and so you can kind of get choosy about how you put, where you put the stars, which I like. So I want one little star right there at the bottom of my little airplane, dude. I'm gonna put a couple of those here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's two stars. So. We can get this star and put it over there. All right. See how easy that is to so just move it around? Get it right where you want. Is it like a paste? Almost? Is, is, it seems, it looks really thick. It is. It's just, I like playing it. It's so good. So yeah, you can do it thin. Also, it kind of reconstitutes your paint underneath it too. So see my palette is turning blue because I, I did it on top of the paint. Oh, interesting. So I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit. But that's kind of nice too, because it makes it blend in there fairly well. Yeah. Okay, well let's just get some more. I'm gonna do this and then I'll glue my note down just so I can get the glitter under the note. Nice spots because I kind of want my note to be like right there yeah 
I mean, you could just put glitter everywhere. I am not offended by that at all. Glitter page. Right, or you can just do hints of glitter, some spots. I mean, this is like, oh, this is magic. I like your take on it, Keenan. The why don't you just take advice from yourself as a kid? It's even yeah. better. Even better. Where were you when I was writing those prompts? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so good. So whichever way you want to do it is just fine. All right. Let's see. Oh, let me get the glitter off my palette knife so then I can put some more yes paste on there and put our note down. I can just imagine all the fun variations on this that people are going to come up with. Now, if you don't want to glue it down, you can make a little pocket or do something else creative with it, but I kind of like the idea of it unfolding inside my journal. Put it right there. And see, once it's dry, more dry and you want to revisit what you did, and you just unfold it, read your little note to yourself, and then put it back. Just gotta remember how you folded it. There you go. <laughs> and we did it! Ooh. There is our passing notes project. That is so fun. I hope you had a good time making this with us and that you just let all of the world go and had a good time being a kid again. Making a note, playing with glitter, having a good time and reminding yourself to not take life. So seriously, <laughs> um, if you enjoyed making this and you want to share it with us, you can share it with us. Um, we have a Facebook group. It's called Let's Make Art Journals. You can also hashtag us on Instagram with that. And that's what we have for today. We'll see you next time.